As a 12 year old boy, I had this dream. It was crazy, right? I wanted to be a golf pro and a fighter pilot. And I would quickly learn a very important aerodynamic lesson, and that is which way does an airplane take off? And it's into the wind, right? And, and that beautiful irony that you have to have that resistance in order for you know, our dreams, our aspirations to take flight in life. And I understood that relationship and the fact that uh, the challenges that we face on whatever path we're on in our life uh, are only there for one reason, and, th and that's to make us better, and that's to help us achieve that goal in our life. And I think all too often people will start down a path and they encounter resistance. You know, when they lose their, their passion and, and drive, it's not going to be easy. It's, it's not supposed to be balanced. It's not supposed to be comfortable. You know, life is supposed to be great, and there are obstacles that stand between us and, and that greatness in our own lives. One of my favorite terms in life is synchronicity. I define that as chance with a purpose when you're at that exact place at that exact time when your life is, is altered. And uh, as an F-16 pilot, I've done three tours of duty in Iraq, and I've certainly seen the fact that freedom isn't free. But it was actually on my second tour of duty, I just returned back and was on a commercial airline flight headed from Chicago here to Grand Rapids, Michigan. And as we pull up to the gate, the captain comes over the PA and makes an announcement that we're carrying an American hero on board. And we have the remains of Corporal Brock Buckland, who was killed in Iraq. And his identical twin brother, Corporal Brad Buckland, is in first class and has brought him those 7,000 miles home. He also made a request to the captain that everybody stay in their seats uh, until Brock's remains had been removed from the right cargo hold. And I look back to the airplane and I'm disappointed to see that more than half the people had gotten off the plane that night. And in that moment, um, I, I literally I felt God's hand on my shoulder. And he called me on a mission, and uh, that mission was to to start a foundation to ensure um, young boys like Jacob, Brock's son, had an opportunity to, uh, to receive an education. You know, in life you can be inspired all you want, but if you don't have the courage and faith to make a choice to do something with that circumstance, it's meaningless. And after that moment, I went home and started a foundation called the Folds of Honor. And was very fortunate as a unique uh, background to be a fighter pilot, but also a PGA golf professional. And I reached out to the PGA of America and I told them I had an idea and it was called Patriot Golf Day. We were about three weeks old. Uh, prior to the first Patriot Golf Day, I raised $1.1 million that weekend. And in seven and a half very short years as an organization, we'll award our 10,000 scholarship this year. I learned this incredible lesson as a 35-year-old. This beautiful irony in life that when you reach out to help someone in need, that you're actually the one being helped. And when you can get those things balanced in your life, it's amazing you know, what it does for you in your heart and soul as a human being.